Okay, uh, here for round number four, another day. Um, this hand is fine. We get a tune with ether, get a mountain, play whatever we want there. Cinder Glade comes in untapped. Keep. Sorry, I'm trying to figure out why this doesn't. Sometimes it hides and sometimes it's all loose. Alright. Tuned for mountain. Go. Go. Sultai colors. Okay. Scrounger. Some sort of aggro deck. Um, bum, 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 bum. Since we don't have any kind of pump spell to go with the, the Pummeler, we have no pump spells in hand currently, uh, I think I want to try to use my energy on like a Long Test Cub slash Voltaic Brawler stuff. So, uh, against Sultai potential removal, uh, I think I just want to go with the, with the Brawler. I think it just uh, races the most effectively. We're going to have a fair bit of energy. Um, not super optimistic about the long test cub necessarily getting in. Or surviving, anyway. What the? Oh, okay. So, this is not an aggro deck, I guess. It's a value deck and just kind of wants to recur scrappy sc scrap heap scroungers at infinitum so uh, da -da. so we're going to attack for four and then we're going to tune and play another two drop um, I think I want it to be Brawler again. Yeah, okay. So, the just, you know, 4 3 tramples is pretty effective against what they're trying to, to block it with, probably. Uh, getting another force here. We've got double red, which is fine. Just to conceal a little bit of information, do that. And controls no planeswalkers. Yeah, so this comes in tapped and the spirit comes in untapped. Yep, still not blocking. Timepiece from your graveyard into your library, and it can tap to just mill. I just went ahead and milled. Okay. Oh, uh, we're gonna try and hit you for a bunch. Yes. Yes. Probably something. No, nope. just takes the eight. All right. Um, yeah, let's uh, just run out and come. Doing this. So, uh, what is this? Green, black. Okay. When my dead comes back in. Oh, and prized amalgam was in there. I didn't even see that. It's fine. And yeah, we get a conduit. Let's 
So this can't block. I think we're probably ready to go ahead and block and use four energy to make this a four four. The haunted dead. Oh, sorry, they discarded the prize amount into the haunted dead because that is a combo. But we can put uh, four, sorry, th uh, three lethal threats on the board, or three threats, any, any two of which will be lethal. Don't think they can quite race us at the moment. Okay. Block. I probably want to make this a 4 4 anyway, so doing it now is not a big deal. I guess this could open me up to potentially getting Galvanic Blasted or something, but. I feel like it's not terribly likely to be something our opponent has. I guess they might have a Fiery Temper. Kozilek's Return. Oh boy, I did not see that one coming. And that, yeah, Long Tusk Cub is going to die. Okay. I guess you've got, uh, what is it, Elder Deep Fiend to go off with that. I don't know. I, 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 I don't know much about Standard. I don't know if this is a deck I should know runs Kozilek's Return. It's, uh... And four card types, so they're gonna get like a deep fiend. Yep. Okay. Uh, in this spot, I think we just run out of threats. Oh, wait. This is bad. There's Elder Deep Fiend, Flashback, Kozilek's Return. I think I still just take this. Because I don't want to block and then use energy to... I do want to force them to do this, I guess. Yep. And do that, do that. See, we could, if we had a instant pump spell, kind of get him right here. If we had uh, like plus blossoming defense, make this three, three, and then threaten. Oh, wait. They are tapping our creatures, so they're not flashing back the Kozilek's return. Oh, they did. Okay, they're just probably playing suboptimally. They might as well thin the deck a little bit. Yeah. I don't know whether playing them, whatever. Probably just does not matter. Oh, and they can return the Haunted Dead and get six. Alright, probably dead here. And Green Player. Yeah, that would have been nice to before. Just go ahead and get rid of that. Um, sideboarding. Maybe Harness Lightning can come in. That would be about it. I don't think. Actually. 
I want to possibly Harness Lightning, possibly Kessie Prowler. Just want to be a slightly more effective beatdown deck. Um, Kozilek's Return does kind of screw with this plan. Anything but Kozilek's Return, I think we're kind of okay. Especially on the play. Try that. Uh, we cut one pummeler because we're cutting some pump spells here. A fair bit of pump spells are cut. I think I'll cut up Bristling Hydra. Yeah. I think, don't think we need that many harness lightnings. Okay, let's give it a shot. Uh, yeah, this hand's fine. We get a two of the ether for a forest. Get to play long tusk cub. On turn two, we have some energy to turn into a three three. Can beat down. Traverses or an island. Kessick Prowler right on time. So we'll just play out the cub. Hopefully we can start generating a fair bit of energy with this. Alright, let's go ahead and start with Intech. I'm just going to run up Hummler because it could potentially do quite a lot of damage next turn. Could potentially easily be lethal if you draw a land. Prize to Mogul. Fortunately, I don't have Trample at this time. I think I'm just going to attack with the Cub, because it blocks the Pummeler. And I'm pretty sure they would block the, the Pummeler, and that's not great for me. If they, they, there's a decent chance they block the Cub anyway. I'm okay spending some energy here. I think just having a 4 4 beating down is pretty effective. We still have a double pump available for the pummeler, which threatens lethal pretty easily. Maybe Prowler's not great against this, this nonsense. So I guess they're deep fiending. So we'll take three, it's fine. Tapping. Tapping all of that plus that. Okay, I'm going to fire off a blossoming defense on the cub to try and get in some damage. Also, use my mana here. If we draw a land and they don't block, Uncaged Fury will be lethal. Sorry, just double checking the math. Yeah. No blocks. King 
Forged Fury 7, yeah. That is lethal. Okay. Um, definitely want to cut a Prowler for probably just another Harness Lightning. I think on the draw, I want to be a little more combo combo -y, so the Palmer can come in try and get them. And I think we can afford to take out Mountain maybe. Yeah, this isn't a matchup where flooding, but you know, where if we get to turn 8 or something we can still be live to win the game if we don't flood, but we do want it. Definitely hit our all our stuff on time. Um, I'm just going to cut another Prowler. I don't think it's good, really, in this matchup. Possibly just in general. Even though it's so much better than Savannah Lions. So much better. But everything in Magic is contextual, of course. Uh, this hand is mediocre. But we're keep. So game trail, reveal cinder glade, a tune, get a forest, play cub on two. Yeah, I've got a lot of energy. Yeah. Uh yeah, forest. The um I don't know. I think if you're running game trails particularly, it's Malcolm, which is not great. But this can very. Hmm, we could potentially do quite a bit of damage on turn four. Like the Pummeler, uh, Pummeler plus Rush of Adrenaline plus Uncaged Fury is. Uh, a s we should be able to. If we can get two hits in with the Cub, we can make this double-double. So it goes to four power, doubled from the Uncaged Fury, eight, uh, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, Trample. Is uh, not bad. I'm trying to think of whether I want to play out the Ether Hub or the Forest. I guess to place Pummeler and... Um, Pummeler and have three mana on turn, play the Cub, have three mana on turn four, turn three, and four mana on turn four untapped. We're going to have to draw another land either way. Uh, that's not Cinderglade, I guess. Anything but Cinderglade. So, I'm trying to think if playing Ether Hub will hurt me in any way. I don't think it will. Turn off auto yields when I can activate the cub. Don't want to just F6 through the turn. One does not have black mana. They're oathing. Okay. I suppose if we just tune double haunted dead down and do that. Okay. Okay, so we will be able to have four mana next turn. I'm pretty sure we just jam this. Um, dum -bum 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 -bum. Trying to think if we need to, uh, it would be better to use uh, two energy and still have uh, we'd end the turn with six energy, be able to attune with the ether for 
a little bit more. Uh, whether that extra damage is more important than having the additional pump. Also, potentially next turn, three, four, six, seven, fourteen. This could potentially be fourteen damage next turn by itself. needing another double. I don't think we, since we have the Uncaged Fury, we're never going to need another double there. So I'm going to go ahead and use two energy here. Seems like a straightforward aggro deck, but there's actually, with the uh, energy management, quite a bit of uh, decisions to make with this deck. What does this do? So this is just kind of a mill. Okay, I'm pretty sure they're dead. I haven't run the numbers, but I'm pretty sure. So what I say, this goes to three, to four, doubled, eight, double, double. Uh, 1632 plus that, they're tapped out, they did. As long as we can get through the beginning of combat step. So they're just like, yeah, if you can kill us, you can kill us. Which is probably actually the correct move on their part. Okay. Negative 15. That's an appropriate life total for my opponents. Negative 15. I approve. <laughs> 